12-inch wheels, and a 124 cubic centimeters engine might not sound thrilling in the motorcycle world, but Honda didn't let that stop them. In 2013, they launched the Grom, and it made quite an impression. Fast forward to the 2025 Grom, which isn't drastically different from the original model or even from the third-generation Grom it's set to replace. The 2025 model retains the same running gear as its predecessor, with updates limited to the following body panels. Headlight cover, front cowl, left-slash-right shrouds, fuel tank cover, tank cap cover, left-slash-right side covers. This strategy is what we call sticking to a winning formula. A fresh look and more. Sort of. The changes to the 2025 Grom are part of Honda's effort to appeal to customers who weren't fans of the previous design, especially the oversized washers on the replaceable panels. While the motto, if it isn't broken, don't fix it, holds, Honda believes in improving to attract a wider audience. Despite the Grom already being Honda's best-selling street bike, they're giving it a try. Among the minor tweaks to attract new customers is a lower cowl that comes standard on the Grom SP but is also available as an accessory for the base model Grom and Grom ABS. Lastly, Honda has expanded its accessory lineup, now including options from its Hyper, Adventure, and SCADS collections. These accessories, such as a windscreen, handguards, side bags, and a seat bag, aim to add versatility for those using the Grom as a daily errand bike. The rest of the bike remains unchanged, featuring a 124 cubic centimeters fuel-injected engine, 31 millimeters inverted fork, and an LCD dash. Significant updates made in 2022 include a 5-speed transmission, a larger 1.6-gallon tank, a thicker seat, and a replaceable oil filter, improvements that continue to be appreciated regardless of how you plan to use the Grom. Honda Grom on the street. It's rare to see a stock Grom for long, judging by what's around town, and especially at the 2024 Barber Small Bore event. Honda handed us the keys to a 2025 Grom and said, have fun. Or maybe it was, please don't do anything stupid. We mostly succeeded in that and managed to log some street miles, reminding ourselves why this bike is so popular, even in its stock form. New riders will love the manageable seat height, light clutch pull, and crisp throttle, making it easy to get comfortable with riding. Taller riders will appreciate the surprisingly accommodating rider triangle and the ample space on the flat seat to move around. Riders over 6 feet tall tend to sit closer to the passenger seat than the tank, but their knees fit nicely in the tank cutouts and their arms settle into a neutral position. This bike is not as cramped as one might expect. The Grom can reach an indicated 66 miles per hour when tucked and drafting a friend down a slight decline but runs more comfortably at 60 miles per hour with anyone over 200 pounds riding normally on flat ground. Remember, you don't buy a Minamoto for top speed. You buy it for getting comfortable on two wheels, having fun, or for around town convenience. More specifically, you buy a Grom because it's a Honda, and the platform has proven bulletproof since its debut in 2014. With those Honda badges, you're also getting a bike with excellent fit and finish, along with components that would be at home on a full-size machine. The switchgear, levers, and various hardware don't feel cheap or like afterthoughts. The only downside is that we wish the Grom came with sleeker turn signals and a small TFT display. It might seem like a crazy request, but other manufacturers have started putting beautiful displays on small, inexpensive bikes, proving it's a feasible task. A sleek TFT would modernize the Grom while enhancing its style and presence, adding a cool factor to the mix. Honda Grom on the track. Speaking of the cool factor, Honda race prepped a handful of Groms for a semi-official three-hour endurance race at Barber Motorsports Park's Barber Proving Grounds. Actually, there were lap timers, trophies, and champagne bottles, so semi-official might not be the right term. Let's call it the most serious multi-team Minamoto endurance race we've run this year. Even if it was our only one, the bikes were equally serious, with Honda enlisting the passionate team at MNNTHBX to build impressive-looking and well-performing race bikes. Upgrades included everything from an Olean's front fork cartridge kit and rear shock to triple clamps and clip-on handlebars. A Yoshimura exhaust and Woodcraft rear sets added performance and cornering clearance, while Kenda tires provided the grip needed to confidently throw the bike up the inside of your buddy, knowing it would stick. Nine times out of ten it did, though there was definitely some shoulder rubbing too. 
The hilarity and intense battling were non-stop, making the three hours of racing, split among three teammates per team, fly by. There were muscle aches and moments of doubt, wondering, should I have promised to do this long of a stint? But none of that diminished the pure enjoyment of pushing these sub-10 HP bikes to their limits. Thanks to the upgraded hardware, those limits were much higher. The enhancements made us more comfortable in race mode, keeping the bike stable under hard braking and even harder acceleration. The bike moved around as expected when pushed to the max, but learning to handle its quirks is what makes racing a Minamoto so much fun. The takeaway, it doesn't take much to have an incredible time on a Grom. You can enjoy it in stock form or add a few parts to transform it for an entirely different kind of fun on the kart track with friends. All this comes with a low barrier to entry in terms of cost and commitment. Final thoughts. Since the Grom's debut in 2013, not much has changed except for a few attempts by other manufacturers to dethrone Honda from its Minamoto pedestal. Those attempts have largely been unsuccessful, and Honda hasn't had to completely re-engineer the Grom to maintain its status. So, the 2025 Grom isn't a bigger, more technologically advanced version of last year's model. But it remains fun, stylish, and ready to be modified to suit your needs, whether as a race bike, stunt bike, show bike, or anything else you can dream up. And it's hard not to be excited about that. The 2025 Honda Grom offers several advantages compared to its competitors in the Minamoto category. 1. Proven Reliability the Grom has established a reputation for reliability since its debut in 2013. Honda's engineering and quality control ensure that the bike performs well over time with minimal issues. 2. High quality components. The Grom features high quality components typically found on larger motorcycles, such as durable switchgear, levers, and various hardware. This level of fit and finish sets it apart from competitors that might use cheaper materials. Three. Customization options. The Grom's popularity has led to a vast aftermarket for customization. Owners can easily find a wide range of parts and accessories to modify their Groms for different purposes, from racing to commuting to stunting. 4. Comfort and ergonomics. Despite its small size, the Grom is designed to accommodate riders of various heights. The rider triangle is surprisingly comfortable, and even taller riders can find a suitable riding position. Five. Upgraded features. The 2025 model continues to benefit from significant updates introduced in 2022, including a 5-speed transmission, a larger 1.6-gallon tank, a thicker seat, and a replaceable oil filter. These features enhance the overall riding experience. 6. Brand Reputation. Honda's brand reputation for durability and performance adds value to the Grom. Buyers are often attracted to the assurance of Honda's extensive dealer network and customer support. Thanks for watching.